<laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, for the first time introducing our friend. There was definitely no technical difficulties on this one if you're watching the YouTube upload later or the highlight. The one and only Lisa B. Creative. She attempts to be creative sometimes. Sometimes. There we go. All right, Lisa. Welcome, welcome. Thank you for thank you for agreeing to be on the show. Of course, any time for you, Greg. Aw, you're too kind. Uh, how's Willow tonight? She is currently sleeping, so she is a beautiful little angel. Aw, that's so sweet. So just so everyone knows, Lisa is a big part of the community. Um, she's, at least I found, always lurking, if not being active in chat. Um, she does stream from time to time on her own channel. Channel? Channa? I can't talk. Channel over at least to be creative. So go ahead and give her a follow while we're getting things going. And I just want to point out that Lisa is our eighth guest here. That means we have seven episodes, if this is your first time watching, to go back and, and enjoy. We had TV's Casey, Acorn Bandit, Taylor Wift, Kylam here, the Rob Logan, Dave the Beard Menace, and of course, close personal friend of the stream, Pumpkinberry. Now... Oh. We have almost every single slot filled right now up until the end of July. So there's way more fun to be had. And I can't wait. I'm so excited. Anyways, anyways, anyways. For any, anyone who's watching this for the first time, and Lisa, in case you've forgotten, this is how phone a friend Fridays work. Call up a friend right here on Discord. I mean, on my fancy iPhone 10 X plus max 4k. You said, you said 10, that's old. What are you even doing? I can't afford, this is a prototype show. I can't afford the <laughs> latest and greatest. We got to work with what we got. That's all. So here's what we're going to do. The first part is our icebreakers that I have found that are designed for children because really we're all children right here mm -hmm. that's what we're doing right now after that we will play would you rather questions so for the icebreaker we have five categories for for us or lisa to choose from lisa will pick the first category and chat will pick the number question in that category once I give you the, the number range, don't go doing it now, chat. I know you. I know you're going to do that. Lisa, the five categories are music, media, and entertainment, sports, education, and goals, favorites, or random. I'm obviously going to pick the first one, music, media, and entertainment. All right, chat, you heard it from a range of 1 to 22. We're getting real specific on this one. What number question is Lisa going to answer? What do you think? What do you think? Anyone? Anyone? Bueller? 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 13! Biebs gets the first one. 13. Oh, this is, this is kind of an interesting one. What social media apps do you use, Lisa? Oh, God. Um, I feel like I need to pull up my phone. I have the, a whole social media folder. Um, daily, Facebook, Instagram, Snapchat still. Still? Snapchat? I don't think I've... I yeah. mean, I, I open that from time to time, but not nearly as often as I probably should. I no, feel... yeah, like I don't. I norm. I mostly use it to send my close friends pictures of my dog. <laughs> oh, you know what? That's fair. That's what I when I first got Pippin. That's one hundred percent what I did. And then when I got first got Rusty, that is also one hundred percent what I did. Yep. So definitely, that's what I'm using Snapchat for mostly nowadays. But 
Facebook, I'll do a quick scroll and it's basically my news site. And then Instagram, I don't even, I don't even check Instagram every day anymore, but I check it maybe like once a week. Yeah. And Twitter only when I'm on my computer. I don't really use Twitter on my phone. Interesting. Um... I was going to say something again. Then I got disrupted by the new follow. Welcome in, new friend. Say hi if you want in the chat. Um, yeah, I, I keep on forgetting that I have Instagram. And then every once in a while, someone will find me from Avatar the Podcast on Instagram and they'll message me there. And I'll be like, this is a dead account on, on Instagram. What are you doing? But then I, got, I don't actually say that. I'm just like, oh, thank you so much. Well, I answer the question and stuff like that. But I just forget I have it from time to time. And it's just like, oh, okay. And, you know, if I maybe open it once a week, maybe. And I go through mm-hmm. I go through all the stories, so I look like a creep on everyone's like when they look at it, they go like, Why is Greg looking at this? Because I just open yep. them up and I tap through all of them. Yep. All of them. Um and then if there's someone that I feel like I should mute because it just get annoyed, or like the worst thing on a story is when they have too many bars up top, and I'm just like, Oh, come on, get to the point. And it's just like, I don't know, pictures that I don't really care about, or like inspirational quotes. Like a what? <laughs> what? Uh, the inspirational quotes kill me. That's when I swipe and move on to the next one. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah. If I get like three that I quickly go through, I just swipe to the next one. And then I go back and I mute that that person because it's just like, I don't care anymore. That's nope. it. That's it. Um, I think I use the most. I would probably say Twitter and TikTok. I use the most now. Facebook has gone like my usage on Facebook has gone way down lately. Like in the past, actually, ever since the pandemic really hit, I feel like I've been using it way less. I don't know why. Really? Yeah. I, I use it like, I don't know. It's just, it's a good kind of recap of how people are doing, but I never actually post on it a lot. I don't, I just kind of read things and I always like it's, it's, I treat Facebook as my news feed now. I've followed a lot of like news sources to stay in touch with things. Realistically how I should be using Twitter, but I just did it all on Facebook. That's fair. That's fair. Um, yeah, I think that's pretty much my usage. I don't even know the last time I actually posted something on Facebook. I couldn't tell you forever ago. I feel like, um, Okay, next up, we're going to jump into a different category, and chat is going to choose the category. Again, just so everyone remembers, it is music, media, and entertainment, sports ball, education and goals, favorites, or random. Or random. Keep says, I'm only on Facebook for book club and the local emerging museum professionals group. Interesting. Dog groups. Dog groups. I'm in a lot of those. I do look at those. Keep says number yeah, four and number f- four is favorites, but continue, Lisa. Sorry. No, sorry. I was just going to say, I do actually use the groups on Facebook. It's how I like find, like when I moved to where I live now, it's how I found like good areas to go to. Oh, okay. Yeah, that works too. That works too. All right. Yeah, mostly places to bring my dog. Yes. Number four which I said is favorites. Now, Lisa, you get to choose between one through 17. What number? Question, are you gonna answer? 11. 11. Oh, this this one's a pretty good one. It's gonna make me hungry. What toppings do you like on pizza? And let's make it a little more specific and then spice this up a bit, if you will. You can only have one topping on a pizza for the rest of your life. What is that topping? Why are you combining segments? Ugh. It's not a would you rather. <laughs> That's not a would you rather. I mean, That's it's not. That would, that, would be, that would be like, would you rather? You're limiting my options. Yes. You're getting into would you rather territory. No, no. <laughs> there is no um, would you rather. It's just the one. I, yeah. So I honestly, I feel like I have to go with green peppers. Oh, that's a really good one. Why green peppers? I just have always loved peppers and onions, cheese pizza. Okay. And 
yeah so i just like i would like the peppers more and i just really like green peppers i feel like it's a vegetable so you know you're doing good mm -hmm. with it mm -hmm. balancing out all the carbs and the cheese mm -hmm. but uh it's still uh still delicious um if this was last year or maybe even two years ago i probably would have said pepperoni but i've discovered recently that pepperoni does not hold the same place in my heart that it once did no. I got a pepperoni pizza like two weeks ago and I had it and I was like, yeah, I can give or take. Like, yeah. If someone just said you can't have pepperoni ever again, I'd probably be okay with it. At least on a pizza. Yeah. I've never been the, I don't know. I've never been the biggest fan of pepperoni pizza. Okay. Okay. Uh, yeah, that used, that used to be my go-to, but not anymore. I would say if there's only one topping that I could put on a pizza... And I don't want to say green pepper because you said it, although that's a very good choice. I'll, I think I'll say mushroom. I like mushrooms on pizza now. Okay. It's a, it's a nice, you know, similar texture, but it kind of like divvies it up in terms of firmness a little bit. It's not too shabby. It does. Not too shabby. I will say I had a recently a mushroom, peppers, onions, and um linguisa pizza and it was so good so good lisa it's it's from the pizza place right up the street for me next time you come over we'll have to go there and we'll we'll get some pies and all right be, yeah i need i need some really good pizza pie in my life yes. because i still haven't discovered a local one that's like you know just blows my mind well well if you like bar slash pub pizza i got the place for you Oh, I'm so excited. Yes. Okay. Next up, let's go to same thing, Lisa. We're going to do um, the different categories. Do you remember what they are? Uh, well, I, I know because oh. I was going to pick random. <laughs> well, then you can just pick random. All right. No, random. Yeah. Random. I basically didn't pay attention to the other ones because I know I'm going to pick random. Random. Okay. And now you get to pick the number on random. So that's one through 18. Five. Number five. What candy best describes who you are on the inside? I don't like this question. Oh. <laughs> I really don't like this question. Oh. Right? Think of all the candies you've ever had. Okay, so like I can immediately think of some, but I'm just like, no, because does a Snickers have something? It's like it kind of has that like soft texture. Some bits of it are I see. I know what I want. I know what I want to go for to say, but I'm like trying to think of the candy that matches. Aww. Snickers with the peanuts inside. Yeah, like I kind of want to say, I'm um, sorry, you just heard laundry go off. So <laughs> Snickers, because sometimes, you know, it's like soft and gooey. You get the caramel, you know, like ooey gooey sometimes. But then sometimes you get that hard crunch. And, you know, because sometimes I'm just a hard ass. But sometimes I'm the biggest softy you'll run into. Okay. Okay. Um, is it weird that I only thought of gummy candies to describe myself? <laughs> Maybe. I don't know why, but I'm I just only going through all that. Ones, so. Interesting. Interesting. Um, I would say probably for me, cinnamon bears. That's what I'm going to go with. Cinnamon bears. Because... Cinnamon bears. Cinnamon bears. Maybe it's just because I like cinnamon bears so much. Because I, you know, sometimes I can be a little spicy, but I'm always like consistent, I feel like. And you know what you're getting with a cinnamon bear. Also, it's a nice big candy. So whenever you get it, it's just like, this is great. And I feel like, I don't know. I feel like sometimes people might think that about me. Like, look at that. It's a good cinnamon bear. Look at that guy. He's definitely a cinnamon bear. And all, they're all always ready for a hug, too. Yeah. I mean, I, I feel you on it. And they're cheap. I'm cheap. 
That's that's a big part of me. I'm cheap. You get like a a bag for a buck. Or actually, you know what? Cinnamon bears or um or no. The opposite end the opposite end of the spectrum would be like candy corn. Because uh, you're just, or if you if you don't think I'm a if you don't think I'm a cinnamon bear, you might think I'm a candy corn. Because you like look at it and go, you know what? I think I might like this. And then you you try it and you go, oh, I definitely don't like that. But I trick you every time, every time. Oh my gosh! Every time. I would not, I would not equate you to candy corn. Thank you, thank you. Or maybe just go with a straight gummy bear. Maybe keeps is right. Just the straight gummy bear. Who has ever had a bad time eating gummy bears? Well, has anyone ever choked on gummy bears? Ale. No, gummy bears on ice cream. Oh yeah, terrible that's terrible. Decision. That's terrible. You're right. You're terrible. right. You're right. You're right. You're right. You're right. That one guy on Amazon. Oh my god, the the sugar free gummy bears. Whoa. Ugh. Whoa. Ugh. Ugh. All right. Moving right along on the note of sugar free gummy bears, I am going to pick. Uh, music media entertainment and chat is going to pick the number one through 21 you are not candy corn candy corn is gross thanks maddie i'm i'm so i'm so glad that people are like i don't know about cinnamon bears but people are like definitely not candy corn all right number 18 lisa have you ever been to a concert yes many uh what's your favorite The one that stands out the most to you. Not necessarily for like the music, but maybe the overall atmosphere, stuff like that. Oh gosh. Um I I I want to say the n- most notable one would be I went to um when I was in college, I went to Bamboozle Fest, I think it was called. Bamboozle, maybe. Okay. Um, and it was in New Jersey. So I did a road trip with friends and it was a three day festival. And it was just, it's kind of, it was like a bigger warped tour. And it was Ooh. amazing because I got to see so many bands mm-hmm. and like, just, yeah, it was amazing. Mm. Uh, and I like the, I like the big festival kind. Cause you can like go shopping. That's true. And that's true. You know, there's a lot more to do than just stand in the pit at the concert. It's, it's like the drive-in theater where it's like, I don't like this show anymore. You just go somewhere else. You turn around and you yeah. go through, Yeah. Yeah. I, I hear you. I hear you. Uh, Low Ray, I hope I'm saying that right. Low Ray Rupier asks, just need to know what's a cinnamon bear. It is, you ever had like a hot tamale? Kind of like that. It is a, a red gummy bear that is a little bit tougher in texture than like an actual gummy bear, but it's just cinnamon flavored. It's so good. Oh, hi, Lorey. I am s- obsessed with cinnamon bears for the past, like, three, four years? No. Five years now, I think. It's been, like, my new find. I think I bought it. I went I went to Target one day um, near where I used to work. And I was like, I want a candy, but I don't want a candy that I can eat too much of at once. And I was like, you know what? Cinnamon bears, they're going to satisfy that gummy need that i have right now but also i'm not gonna eat too much of them because i know i have a limit with those and then i ate the whole bag and i realized i did not actually have a limit with those i just thought i did from like when i was a kid and i've just been like every time i can get my hands on them i just grab them and i like down a bag in a sitting it's not good it's not good that is really not good it's not stop good. doing that i don't buy them as much anymore i try not to anyways or i avoid like if i go through the so Everyone, I think, now knows that I do the grocery shopping in the house ever since the old pandemic hit. So when I have to do that and I have to go down that candy slash snack aisle, I just put the blinders on and I just go, don't look, don't look, don't look, don't look. Because if I look, I'm buying so many things and I have to just calm yeah, down with that. Yeah, I actively try to avoid those aisles. To The, to, the temptation is real. So well, like you if, I buy a, if I buy a bag of the watermelon sour patch, like yeah. kid things, oh, I are so no, good too. they're gone. Or the peach rings, or or even better, the um the soda, the g- soda gummies. I love those so much. Those are so no, good. I've, 
I was never a fan of the soda gummies. Oh, I love them every time. There's like cherry cola gummies. There's root beer. There's cream soda gummy. They're so good. I love them all. Anything gummy, I'm generally a fan of. Clearly. Yes. Yes. They're, they're my favorite. I've been like, so I dropped BB off at daycare today and I drive past a Shaw's supermarket to go. And I looked at it. I was like, I could theoretically drop BB <laughs> off, swing around, jump in there, grab some cinnamon rolls, some candy, everything that I want and still make it home in time to work. But I, I did. I was, I was good. I did not stop at Shaw's. <laughs> I'm very proud of you for that. Well, I probably should have because we need milk and some other things pretty badly. But I just kept on going. I put the blinders on. I didn't even stop at Dunks either. It was a very wow. It was an impressive morning for me. I will. I will say that. I've been terrible this week. I haven't gone grocery shopping, and I just like I bought Wendy's breakfast this morning. It's yeah. Pretty. I mean, it's it's delicious, but it's not a healthy life decision. I don't think I've ever had Wendy's breakfast. Their uh, spicy seasoned fries are delicious. Oh my god, it sounds so good. I don't. I don't think there's a Wendy's near me, which is probably for the best. Yeah. I have to really go out of my way to get fat. I live in like the land of pizza, but I have to go out of my way if I want to get like a fast food burger, or even Taco Bell. I have to really kind of go at least fifteen minutes, which is kind of a bummer. Yeah, me too. I live way too far from. Yeah the closest taco bell it was the most upsetting thing yeah yeah peach rings another peach rings fan oh man they're so good any of the gummy rings i'm really really generally a fan of um i've been trying the halo top ice creams lately just because i feel like i want to eat a lot but i don't want to feel like a slob afterwards and i don't want to down like a thousand calories in one pint yep um i will say this I've tried multiple flavors so far. The top flavors, in my opinion, are there's a mocha chip with coffee ice cream that tastes exactly like coffee ice cream. Cookies and cream is really good. It doesn't taste exactly like cookies and cream, but like close enough. But the chocolate chip cookie dough one, oh my God, that tastes like legit chocolate chip cookie dough ice cream. Like I can't tell the difference. It's so good. I can't remember what brand I got. I got a brand of like supposedly low calorie or whatever ice cream and it was the most disgusting thing I had ever tried. So it, it depends I which one you get though. Uh, the strawberry tastes exactly like strawberry ice cream. All right. I'll have to try or at least strawberry. My, my memory of strawberry ice cream. It's also the lowest calorie count. I think it's like 260 for the pint or something stupid like that. Wow. It's absolutely stupid. I mean, I've been really good about not eating a lot of ice cream. Yeah. Like if I want some, I just do like a, a small scoop if I if I have if I buy any. Oh, see, I'm I I do half a pint easy. Easy without like even realizing it. Um and then I, yes, re then, I then I realize it and then I finish it off. <laughs> that's why I do that if I get Ben and Jerry's, so I just buy like the store brand and I scoop it into a bowl. So I can't eat any more. Yeah, but then I just go back and get and fill up the bowl. Yeah, well, that's that's you versus me. <laughs> There's no <laughs> stopping me once I really There's, want you're something. You're a monster. I'm a monster. Uh-oh. SK loves Halo Top 2, however. Uh, oh, no. Oh, no. That means I must kill SK now. For he likes the same ice cream right. as me. Only one of us can. Should okay. We... Let's plot it out. Let's, let's... plan it out. I got your back let's plan it out this is what we do we buy him halo top and we poison it <gasps> okay i don't know with what I'm yet down. but we do it that, that that's the plan that's the plan oh my god i hope i hope i hope he hears this and then i also <gasps> hope that he goes to paxi's if paxi's happens next year and he goes i'm gonna give him a halo top a pint of halo top and see what he does oh yes please i really hope paxi's happens next year i know I, i'm really excited for it like, even if I don't go as press or, you know, we don't do another panel or anything like that. Like, I just want to see people again and hang out at PAX East. And I've never thought I would miss, like, the sweaty stench of PAX East, but I kind of do. Yeah. kind of do. Didn't they just, um, I think I just got an email about PAX East online soon. They're doing that again this year? Yeah, I think they're doing 
PAX East online. Oh, I think Rob sent us a message about something like that. Keep says, I want to have dinner, dinner with Greg again. That's right. We had dinner. I got to meet Keeps for the first time last PAX East. That was two years ago now. Oh my God. That was two years ago. Ooh. Wow. Wow. Oh man. That's crazy to think about. Uh, okay. So let's do, let's do one or two more of these. And then, oh, no, no, let's do one more because we've got to jump into the would you rathers and then I got to kick you out because I got to beat this goddamn zombie game or it's going to drive me up a wall. Yes, please. We need some fresh content on Booster Greg. Fresh content. This is part <laughs> 12 of Days Gone. I'm never playing a game that is more than, let's say, 30 hours ever again. No, 20, 20 hours, depending on the game. Anyways, uh, let's go with sports ball on this one and number one through 20 i'm going to say number seven number seven is oh god who is your favorite professional athlete lisa i do not have one you don't have one at all i haven't i used to watch sports but i haven't paid attention in years so i literally would not be able to say one i used to because i loved um people would judge me but i used to say odell beckham jr when he was on the giants but I know who that is. you know he got traded and that i mean he started acting like a jerk but i haven't paid attention to the roster on the red sox this year so i really i normally i would pick a red sox player but i don't know who's on the team right now well i'm we, terrible we can say like they don't have to be a current professional athlete, but they, they've been an, a professional athlete in their life. We can we can say that, I think. I think okay. that, that fits the, the mold. So like throughout your life, even as a child, like the one professional athlete that you really liked or you really looked up to. Okay. If we can go back to childhood, yes. um, Nomar Garcia Para. Okay. Okay. Because if we don't do this, I he have was no on one. The, um, I think it was 2004 championship Red Sox team. Okay. And um, he always did this thing with his batting gloves and his wrist when he got up mm -hmm. to bat. Mm -hmm. And I used to do something actually similar because I just, and I still do it. I always um, roll and crack my wrist. And mm. so I used to do something very similar when I got up to the plate when I played softball. No, ma, she says. I yeah. forgot. So I my, forgot. my dad used to call me no, ma. No, ma, kid. What are you doing? You're killing me. Mm -hmm. That's what. That's what you see all in the old, the old Fenway Park, uh, which is also the current Fenway Park. Anyways, yep. <laughs> I would think my favorite of all time would have to be who is, in my opinion, the greatest hockey player to have ever graced the game of hockey. And that would be none other than the great one, Wayne Gretzky. I was obsessed with Wayne Gretzky when I was in uh, elementary school no reason why i should have been i was just like he's the best and i'm gonna know everything about him period and i read like auto or i read biographies like i read all this stuff i wrote to him all this all this crazy stuff oh yeah he's also Little greg right into wayne gretzky yeah well i played everyone knows that i played hockey uh growing up i played up until sophomore year of high school i think it was um so he was like a big he seemed like a really good guy and he like, you know, he got to coach afterwards and he was always like in things. He was always like, like he showed up in Mighty Ducks. There was a cartoon. Oh my God. What was the name of this cartoon? I'm going to, I have to look this up right now. It was Wayne Gretzky, Michael Jordan, and Bo Jackson. What? Yeah. Uh, I'm gonna see if I can find the name of this. It's probably something stupid like All Stars or something like that. Cartoon. Because Bo Jackson played so many different sports, I remember. It was called Pro Stars. Oh boy. Pro you Stars. Were... <laughs> it's a great title. Oh my God. And they, Michael Jordan, Bo Jackson, and Wayne Gretzky voiced themselves respectively. Oh no, wait, did they? Hold on, hold on. It says starring. I'm looking at the Wikipedia right now. They didn't even voice themselves. Oh no. What a scandal. They lied to you. What a scandal. That's you. like in Jackie Chan Adventures when Jackie Chan didn't actually voice himself. 
Oh but my god, like, I forgot about that show. But, but if you think about it, he definitely should not have voiced himself in Jackie Chan Adventures. I don't think. I love him so much. And he's super talented. And he's he's bilingual, which is really more than I can say. But as a voice act from a voice acting perspective, I don't think he would cut it. Yeah, I agree with you. Uh, Pro Stars is a cartoon television show featured on Saturday, Saturday morning cartoons that aired on NBC from September 4th to De uh, from September 14th to De December 7th, 1991. Three famous and popular professional athletes from the 1990s appear in the show in live action and as fictional superhero characters. That's crazy. It was Deke Animation that put it out. That's wild. Does Mick Foley count? Yeah, Mick, I would. I would count um professional wrestlers as pro professional oh, absolutely. athletes yeah absolutely yeah even though it's fake that's not the point that's not the point <laughs> you put out some wild stuff they absolutely did they i i can like remember too just that little outro like anim animation and intro would just be like and be like Deek. like someone would, like it would be a little kid saying that i that's stuck ingrained in my brain forever whoever made that is like marketing genius Wait, do ice skaters count because Michelle Kwan is a god? Yes. Also, hey, Brooke, what's up? Yes, what is that's up? a sport. Yes, it's all sports. It's all a sport. Okay, so let's jump into would you rather questions. So everyone knows that I have my would you rather generator right here. I am going to generate 10 would you rather questions. Lisa, a number one through 10, if you please. Two. Number two. Um, would you rather have... Oh, no, wait. We already asked Rob that one. I don't want to do that one. All right. Let me generate more and go number two. Okay, here we go. Would you rather look young but feel old or look old but feel young? Why are you attacking me questions? I feel personally victimized. I feel assaulted by this question. Absolutely. But you gotta assaulted. answer it. You gotta answer no, it. The, the first option, I'd rather um, look young and feel old because I'm a very vain person. Uh, I'm gonna say the same thing. But, that's also how I'm living my life right now. But because it's how I'm living my life right now, no one correct me. And... If you look young, but feel old, that means you're always going to look young. That yeah. means you don't age. That means you're immortal, question mark? I agree. Yes. No, that, that is a healthy conclusion. That's that's just science right there. That's, that's what that is. Absolute science. All right, chat. One through ten. It is. Oh, I broke it already. Lisa, would you rather win $100? Yes. Yes. I, yes, I would. I knew we were going to get a broken one. I love the broken ones. I love it. I love it. Finding that is what kids must feel like when they're told Santa isn't real. Oh, God. Um, oh. oh, we're getting into Santa discussions now. I found out Santa wasn't real when I was reading Super Fudge and it mentioned that he didn't exist. Imagine. Like, that's, that's rough. That, that's something that I kind of worry about with BB. I'm like, like Mrs. Boost loves Christmas. So for, if it was up to me, I probably wouldn't do the notion of Santa, but Mrs. Boost love, loves it, loves it. So it's like, all right, fine, we'll do it. And I'm just worried yeah. that like watching something, like maybe even like the Santa Claus might scar her for life where Santa dies and it introduces the idea that Santa oh. is not immortal. Chat one through 10, hey. one through 10, waiting on you, chat. Yeah, I can't start discussions about Santa Claus. This will go on forever. Yeah, yeah. Um, eight. Zach says eight. Oh, would you rather have a free day off on Friday or Monday? Friday. Why? Because I don't know. <laughs> I just you're getting a three day weekend um, no matter how you slice it. That's true, but I just feel like it feels better to have a Friday off. Like last week 
was it last week? I took Friday off and it just like, it felt amazing on Thursday. And I just think it feels nicer to be done like Thursday night and then to have those days versus like, I, it feels different to me. Unlike when there's a holiday on a Monday, it doesn't feel the same on that Sunday night. But like, I don't know. But like, is that just why, like but conditioning? Do you think it probably is where you're so used to having Mondays off that when you have a Friday off, it feels like a treat. Exactly. I think, I think you're onto something there because like most holidays that are set, you know, they're, you know, they're set kind of like third Monday or whatever. It's, you know, it's always a Monday and mm. it's, but Fridays just feel like more special. I know in college, I always tried to make it. So I never had classes on Friday. Yeah. So I, like, why? Yeah. I have to say it doesn't matter to me. It really, I, I'll take either one of them. I don't care. Because as long as there's a three day weekend, as long as there's a three day weekend, I'm not picky. Uh, I almost want to lean more towards Monday because I feel like you just don't have Mondays anymore. And yeah, people are like, well, then Tuesday's your new Monday, right? Well, maybe, maybe not. But when you go into Monday, you're like, crap, I have five days to work in a row before I get any sort of break. Whereas when you jump into a Tuesday, it's only four. Yeah, and then it feels really good because, like, you keep you saying, "Oh, you know, you feel like it's Monday," and then you're like, "Oh, wait, it's Tuesday," and then you yeah. get all happy. Yeah, yeah, and oh, that's a good point, Dylan. It also depends on uh, what debut, like, if anything's debuting on a Friday. That's also a good point. If you have a Friday that's off, you can really watch that point. right at midnight, or you can go, you know, to the theater. Well, yeah, it's safe, safe to that's do so. Also, yeah, because back in the day, they used to. You know, before they started making movies come out at like 8 p.m. So you could go to the th movie theater Thursday night and get home at a reasonable hour. You had to go Thursday at midnight mm. to see it premiere. And then so having Friday off was amazing because then you weren't tired. So, yeah, like the premieres and stuff was great. And now they do it with um, Disney Plus. I really like the Friday content. Um, but here's the it thing. Just, it feels like a good start to the weekend. Yeah. Yeah, that's true. Yeah, it doesn't matter to me. Give me whatever. I will take a three day weekend every week for the rest of my life. No problem. Doesn't matter. Sometimes, yeah, just, though, yeah. sometimes a solid Wednesday off in the middle of the week is great. Yeah, sometimes because then, you know, you're not doing anything Tuesday afternoon. Like you're just kind of coasting it at Tuesday, which means you're only working really like well, you're, you're coasting Tuesday into Wednesday and then you're coasting Friday into the weekend. So you're really that's like a day off right there in and of itself. So it's really two days off. Yep. If you do the math, that's true. Crunch the numbers. <laughs> yep. <laughs> All right. I'm going to choose the next one. We'll, we'll do this and we'll do one more and then we'll call it. And this is going to be, uh, I'm going to say number five, 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five. Would you rather Lisa get one wish granted today or wait five years to get three wishes granted? And now the genie from Aladdin rules apply. Can't wish for more wishes. You can't wish for more wishes. You can't wish for love. You can't wish anyone dead. Genie from Aladdin wishes apply on this. No extra wishes. What do you think? One wish now? I or three in I five years? I would make one wish now. Okay, why? Um because there's like life circumstances that are happening right now that I would like to resolve quickly. <laughs> and Fair. I don't want to wait five years for Fair. those. I, too... I feel like if there weren't relevant things, then I would be like, wait and want more. But immediate factors, um, it would be one wish immediately. Okay. Magneto says, I would wait just so I had time to, to not screw it up. There you go. Think That's about a good point too. Think about the wishes. There you go. That's a very good point. I'm gonna say, also say one wish granted today, and you know what I'm gonna wish for? That BB grows up happy and healthy. No, it's stupid. I'm gonna wish for a time machine and go forward five years and get my wish right now. Oh. <laughs> get my five wishes now. Come on. Come on. Not how that works. I can wish for anything I want except for more wishes. So I wish for a time machine. But you get the you get one wish or 
or so you can't just move forward in time and get the other wishes. Oh, you're right. You're right. But no, you should still wish for a time machine. Oh, no, no. Here, here's can, what I do. Here's what I do. He, here's what I do. I get my one wish because everyone's getting this right because we're, we're a community here. And then I get the time machine and I steal Magneto's five wishes. Boom. Yep. There you go. That's the solution. Sorry, pal. Sorry, pal. And then we can go on Doctor Who Adventures. Then we go on Doctor Who Adventures. Yes. Yes. The time machine is the wish that just keeps on giving when you really exactly. think about it. You wish for a time machine so Days Gone would be over. God damn it. Yeah. She's, she's right. She's right. Hopefully this is the end. Hopefully. We'll see. We'll see. We're all praying on the time it. machine sounds disturbing. <laughs> er, because time T H Y M E. You see, we covered on a recent episode of Avatar the Podcast that the more you explain a pun, the funnier it gets. It's just science. That's all it is. That's all it is. All right. Last one. Here we go. One through ten chat. It is up to you to decide what we leave Phone a Friend Friday on with Lisa Be Creative. Make it a good one, guys. Make it a good one. Don't mess it up for us. Don't do it. I'll be very upset. It's true. If you pick a bad be. one. She'll cry. She'll do it. I'm not going to cry. I'm going to come for vengeance. Shh. I just did Eula's storyline in Genshin, so I'm all uh, about vengeance now. Okay. Vengeance. Eleven. Eleven. Two. Oh, wait, that one we already asked. Okay. I already said two, yeah. Would you rather a best friend or five just really good friends? One best friend. Why? Because that's what I have now. No, I feel like it's a one best friend gives you everything you need. And that's what why they're a best friend and i'm also not a very social person okay though i actually don't like to talk and keep up a lot of relationships that's fair so, that's fair having one and i also have a large family so <laughs> yeah <laughs> kind of yeah. cheat in there i just <laughs> i don't need as many friends like one really good connection just feels more fulfilling to me than like many like smaller things I, so I'm going to say five really good friends because, oh, actually, do I want to say that? I was going to say, know, it's, I was say it was less things you have to remember, but that's not necessarily true because it's five, it's four additional birthdays. It's four additional like things you got to manage. But I think ultimately Biebs, Biebs says five because he can play Pathfinder with everyone. Which is a good point. It's a very good point. <laughs> you could get a D&D &D session going get with all those solid D&D &D session going on. Uh, that and with five really good friends. Because with their powers combined, Magneto says. That's a good point. Mm. Yeah. Wait. I kind of like, I love board games. And they're always way more fun with more people. But That is true. Like, you just said friends. Like, I'm still going to have, you know, my twin sister. I'm still going to have my boyfriend. So, you know, I'll have enough. <laughs> But does your boyfriend count as a best friend? I don't think, I think. No. You're, yes. No, yes. No, don't, yes. Pull that, don't pull that bullshit on your me. Your boyfriend is your best friend, just like my wife is my best friend. You, you're crazy. No, actually, my, my, my twin sister is my best friend. So. Well, there you go. There you go. So all you have <laughs> is your sister. That's all you have. All right. I want to say five really good friends because that's just kind of more people, more influences um whether they be positive or negative to really pull from and i think you'll have more life experiences with five people and you'll have a little bit of a wider social bubble as much as i don't like having a that wide of like a social bubble i think it's ultimately better um for people now i say this now being at hopefully potentially the end of a pandemic had you asked me this at the beginning, I probably would have said the one because I can keep track of where that goddamn piece of shit went <laughs> and yep. not kill me. So, tomato, tomato. All this right. was a good one. This, I liked ending on this question. This was a solid one. Good job, chat. Good job. Uh, that is, get ready to clip this one, chat. That is all the time that we have for this segment <laughs> of Phone a Friend Friday. That's dedicated to you, Rob. Hold on. Do I still have that up? 
No, I got rid of it. That's fine. That's fine. Oh, wait, wait. Do I have the undo feature still? No, no, I don't have that on OBS. Uh, that's all the time we have right now for everything. Lisa, thank you so much for hanging out with me tonight. I super appreciate it. Super, super appreciate you and for giving me a ride on Wednesday when I needed it. You're welcome. Thanks for lunch. Yeah, Chipotle. I love Chipotle. I haven't had it in forever. Uh, Lisa, are you going to stream again ever again in your life? Yes. So um, ske my schedule is getting, you know, good. I think Willow is very on a very much. Uh, I can talk. I promise. Um, Willow is actually requiring much less attention now late at night. Yes. So I believe I'm going to be able to get back on a regular stream schedule. I just want to um, kind of figure it out with my boyfriend. So we're streaming on alternate nights. There and we are actually working on doing a co-stream because we're going to play. There's this two-player game that we want to try out. So we're going to stream it together. Can you tell us so what we're the game planning is? that. Can you give us a sneak peek? Yeah, it takes two. I was going to play that with Casey, I think. Yeah, so it looks super fun. Yeah, it does. So we're going to we're going to play that together. So we're going to um that's why I texted you the other day and was like, "What do you use to do the co-op streams?" Yep. We, and it's anyone, this is the trade secret. Zoom plus Discord audio. That's the way you do it. Yeah. Zoom because through video. We, it, I was thinking we could do it on like a PlayStation and be in the same room, but I can't play with a controller to literally save my life. I have to be on my PC, so yeah. we'll be in different rooms, and we'll just we have good enough internet, and we'll, we're gonna figure it out. But yeah, we're gonna we're gonna set that up soon, nice. um, and do that like on, on a set schedule so that people can watch us bicker and play video games. You should also play um, a way out as well. It's from the same dev. TV's oh, wait. oh, okay. TV's Casey and I uh, played that a year or two ago, maybe, whenever that was. And it was a lot of fun. It's the same dev. It's the same kind of concept where it's two player, singular story, and you're both trying to get out of a jail, is the premise. Ooh, that one sounds fun, too. So it's really, it's really, it's a good time. Uh, okay, get out of here, Lisa. Lisa, everyone. That's right. Bye. See you later here we are all right that's it for phone or friend friday we're gonna take a quick brb everyone remember to give lisa a follow if you please and when we come back we are going to maybe hopefully please dear god let me beat days gone